All praise on the Lord to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, teach all truth and sincerity. This is a response video, um, keeping the Sabbath holy. Uh, this is Exodus 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day uh, to keep it holy. Um, so, yes, we're supposed to keep um, the Most High's uh, Sabbath holy. Um, and, yes, um, all these wicked holidays, um, Christmas, um, Veterans Day, um, Cinco de Mayo, um, 4th of July, um, a lot of these um, holidays that uh, this society, uh, the so-called white man who's Esau, uh, and these heathens honor uh, have been actually um, coming on the Sabbath, uh, the new moon Sabbath days, like, um, like Christmas, uh, this year is coming on uh, the... Um, it's coming on the um, the uh, second Sabbath day of this year, of, of, of this month, basically. Because the Sabbath, the new moon Sabbath um, came in the uh, 17th of this month, uh, you know, December 17th, and... Um, Yeah, it came in December. It came in um, Sunday night, Sunday evening, and a Monday. It ended Monday evening of last Monday. So, um, yeah, it came in. It's it's um. Yeah, December seventeenth, which is um uh, a Sunday, that that Sunday night, and um, it ended uh. The 18th that Monday evening, that Monday night. So, so that's when New Moon Sabbath for that. So it's coming in uh, this um, this week uh, on the 24th that that Sunday night, um, and it will end that Christmas uh, night uh, um, on the 25th. So that's the. Uh, Sabbath for that day um, for, for that's that's the new moon Sabbath which is the Sabbath day or um, which is the Sabbath day for the um, that um, we're supposed to follow so anyway um, we'll read 9 6 days uh, this is Exodus 29 6 days shalt thou labor and do all thy work but the Sabbath day is the, the Sabbath of of Yahweh thy power, and in 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 it thou shalt not do any work. Thou sh thou, so basically on the Sabbath day you're supposed to rest. You're supposed to um get into the scriptures. You're supposed to be spiritual on the Sabbath day. You're supposed to deny yourself of any pleasures. Um, you're supposed to really um get into like the scriptures. Uh, rest and. You're supposed to get that day to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and, um, you know, don't be cooking or, you know, doing anything uh, that has to do with, like, you know, sex on the Sabbath or um, anything that has to do with, like, personal pleasures when it comes to, like, uh, dealing with a woman on that day or, you know, uh, watching your favorite TV show or, you know, like, or going to the club that day, or go, getting, getting, like, trying to, to get some women on that day when it's all about, you're supposed to give that day to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and, you know, uh, be, read your scriptures, maybe pray, and, uh, you know, watch a video on that day, just make the day a spiritual day, and rest, you know, but if you gotta work on the Sabbath, um, because we're in captivity, you know, most most time Esau, uh, uh, most brothers have to work on the Sabbath. Like, gotta work on, especially a Monday. If it's a, like a Sunday, a Monday, brothers mostly gotta work on that day. 
And sometimes brothers don't, but well, if you don't have to work on the Sabbath, you should um, make that day a spiritual day where you can um, read, uh, watch videos, uh, you know, pray. Uh, you can sometimes fast on the Sabbath. Instead of eating, you can just fast that day. Um, you can um, pray while you're fasting. and So anyway, um, I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to finish reading uh, 10. Um, this is verse 10, uh, Exodus 20 and 10. But the seven days, the Sabbath of Yahweh, thy power, and it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy tr stranger that is within thy gates. Um, for, for in six days, Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that, and all that in them is, and rest, rested the seventh day. Wherefore, Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So yeah, so yeah, he did bless the Sabbath in Hollywood. Um, this is um Exodus. So basically, all these holy days are on the Sabbath, and that tells you a reason why um these holidays are not um are not um uh, something that we should something that we should um be dealing with in the first place um because it shows how how the most high hates these holy days that he would have them on the sabbath um just to you know because our people they they follow these holy days and they don't really know about this shabbats like that and they um but the thing is like to me, I believe like the Most High had these, these, these holy days to, to um, these holidays. Uh, these not holy. These holidays. These, these, these holidays. These holy days to show up on the Sabbath just to, just to, just tell our people they have really no excuse because you know they they're celebrating these holidays, um, willingly. And um, have no idea what they're celebrating. When it came to Christmas, they don't know um, about um, what they really celebrate, really. They just do it because of the kids. They do it just to, for the kids. It's all for the kids. It's, it's not, it's not like, which is wicked because you're allowing your child to um, to worship an idol, which the Christmas tree is a um, an idol. You know, you're allowing your children to be idolatry, to be a part of idolatry because you don't want to change your your ways. You don't want to completely get rid of being um, a part of this Babylonian society. You don't want to get rid of uh, Christmas. You don't want to get rid of doing 4th of July, you don't want to get rid of Easter, you don't want to get rid of all those wicked um, holidays that have nothing to do with um, the Bible, you know? Like, um, like they they put Easter, you know, celebrating the, um, the crucifixion of our, our Lord, you know, and, uh, but they put that with a bunny, and they, um, but Easter, is around the time of Passover. So basically Easter is like the opposite of Passover. But they um they it's just a lot of just a confusion and wickedness and they have no understanding of what they're really celebrating really. So I'm gonna read um Exodus thirty one and twelve and Yahweh spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Really, my Sabbath ye may keep. keep. And the children, the word children there means the sons of Israel. Um, he said to the sons of Israel, Really, my Sabbath ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, 
that ye may know that I am Yahweh that doeth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is a holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days, you know, six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to Yahweh, whoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout the generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. On the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. So basically, he's telling the sons of all Israel um, to keep the Sabbaths um, because they are holy unto you. It's a sign between me and your generations forever, basically. Um, and because like the most high he 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 made the world in six days um in scripture it says one day is a thousand years to the most high uh yahweh so in six thousand years up in the spiritual world uh in six thousand years it took to make the heavens to make to make the the earth so it took six thousand years Six days, which is six thousand years to the most high Yahweh. It took him six thousand years to make um the earth to make it how it is now. It took him six thousand years to form, it took him a thousand years to form the earth, it took another thousand years to you know to build it, it like it took them it took Yahweh. How was shy in, in one forty four time to make the earth, and they all rested on the sixth the 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 seventh day, the 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 seventh day, and you know when it was finished it was it took them that long to to get that done and it wasn't that long it was and um, but it took them that long to perfect. Um, the earth and make it how it is now, and uh, it took them that long to uh to uh uh get the Sabbath. Um, it took them that long to uh to make the earth. It took them six days, which is six thousand years, to the Most High Yahweh. And the seventh day they they rested, and um, and Yahweh, um, the Most High, um, he said, "Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defile it shall be put to death. But whoso defile do any work therein, what that soul shall be cut off from among his people." So yeah, it was, it is important to keep the Sabbath holy. And to, um, you know, not defile the Sabbath and to do, um, and, um, to be basically, you know, be spiritual and, um, be at rest on the Sabbath, you know, uh, I'm gonna go to Isaiah 58 and um, start 13, uh, this Isaiah fifty eight thirteen. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of Yahweh honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, not finding their own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. So, so if we turn away our foot from doing our pleasure. On the Sabbath, so if we don't do pleasures on the Sabbath. We 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 rest and we do holy things like we read the scriptures, we watch brothers' videos, we um pray, 
we pray for uh, ourselves and we pray for the brotherhood and we pray for family members and, and we just fast and, and we pray and you know we read and so we get more we, we get more spiritual and we read the scriptures and we continue to pray and read on sabbath um on the sabbath that we're um on Like on like, cause like first Sabbath for this month for for the basically the start of next month is um was on the seventh the started on the seventeenth and eighteenth, and then um and the next Sabbath day which is the second Sabbath day of of this of the start of next month is um is um going to be starts on the 24th the night of the 24th and the um the end of of the 25th night of the, of, it's going to start at 24th on the 24th evening to the 25th evening and um so we abstain from pleasures on the sabbath day and we just deal with the scriptures and we basically um read and watch videos and we um be, um pray to the most high Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. We, we 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 talk to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that day and we you know be spiritual and we and you can also put up videos on the Sabbath too to, to even be more spiritual if you if you need to if if you if that's the day that you put up videos that's even better because then you can be spiritual at that moment also. You're, you're putting up your videos on that day. And you, you're trying to stay in the spirit instead of getting into some wickedness that day. And that probably keep you from, if you're thinking about your thoughts are there, being spiritual, reading and praying and, and asking the Most High to, to um, keep your mind on Him instead of worrying about what's in this world. That probably keep you from doing anything that is going off on the Sabbath, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna read 14, then shalt thou delight thyself in Yahweh, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it, so basically, we're on that path where we're being, we're, we're not defiling the Sabbath and we're um being spiritual and, and trying to keep the Sabbath holy, um, the most high will have will have a delight of us and well definitely as is said in Isaiah right now, it says, Thou shalt delight thyself in Yahweh. If we delight ourselves in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. So, so I'm gonna go to Jeremiah. Um, ten. I'm going to read two. First. Uh, this is Jeremiah ten and two. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Be, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed. For the heathen are dismayed at the sign of heaven. Yeah, the heathen is dismayed at all the things that are in the heavens, like the stars. They're dismayed at the moon. They, uh, a lot of heathens, you know, they're um, they use those things that they're dismayed at as idolatry, idol worship. So um. For the customs of the people are vain, for they one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of workmen with the axe. So this is talking about uh, the time where they cut down um, pine trees, uh, Christmas trees. And, um, and it goes into, they decade with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and made with hammers. That is may not. So basically, this is talking about, uh, because they do decorate 
a Christmas tree with um, silver and gold and um, they deck it with ornaments and um, they make it stand up um, and it says in five um, but yeah they deck it with silver and gold and that's what they do during Christmas time they put a star on the top of the thing they put different ornaments they put a white Santa on there and um, different ornaments that children make from the from the school because you know these these uh, so-called white um, people who are teachers who teach our to teach the children at the school who are teachers they all the time who celebrate these wicked holidays they they uh, sometimes have classes where um, children um, will um, build will um, paint uh, different ornaments or they'll um, make different ornaments and uh, with the pictures or with their um, just with clay or something and the kids come and hang them on the Christmas tree and it's, it's just all wicked and you know and uh, so it's basically you know like these holidays are you know just filled with um, idolatry and um and when it comes down to it, uh, the custom of these people is is totally vain, especially during these times. Especially like the times, like like every every um, I wouldn't say every, but most of the time, all these holidays that come up in this this society are mostly ending up on the Sabbath. So. I would say all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashi, Yahshua, and double honors to Elder Apostle, Great Muslim, and salutations to you, I can teach you all to be saved. I'm saying, Shalom. Amen.